out of nowhere, Pokemon just released a brand new Pokemon for Scarlet and Violet. Let's take a look. Okay, so it is way too early and I don't have an editor today. So we're just gonna wing it like we did in the old days. A new Pokemon has been revealed. There's like a three minute trailer that was uploaded. I haven't watched it, but I did see screenshots of the Pokemon. So let's dive in. Okay, so this footage was actually uploaded by Serebii.net. I believe it's in Japanese, but I know that there's like English subtext. And there's a chance that by the time like around this video gets uploaded that the English one will come out, but we're gonna dive into it. So let's take a look. So it's apparently like an ecological thing. And right away they get right into it. So this is not Diglett. This is not original form. I've never seen a Pokemon quite like that one. Could it be a Diglett? It resembles Diglett at least, but its coloring is different. Could it be a regional form unique to Paldea? Será un grupo de Diglett varios color? Jamás pensé que vería algo igual. So no koto arimasu desho ka? Glitch now. Diglett no shinka kei ni chigai arimasen. So, obviously they're not speaking English, so I don't mind talking over it here. Um, this is a new Diglett type Pokemon based on the Spotted Garden Eel, which is something that had been leaked many, many months ago. I don't know. I don't know what this whole survey thing is, but this is one of two, I believe, leaf kind of convergent species that we've called them uh, internally, like through the leaks and stuff like that. So we don't know what the exact terminology is going to be. It's not a regional form. It's not a regional fake. It's not like, but it, it's clearly similar to that particular Pokemon like Diglett, but it has nothing to do with Diglett. I have to agree. It does have certain anatomical similarities, and of course, we all know it's possible that a regional form could have different coloration. But even so, oh my goodness! <laughs> oh man! So they're saying this is a completely different species. Wiglet! It is Wiglet, not Diglet. It is not the Paldean form of Diglet. They live and eat differently. They're an entirely different Pokemon. It's a coincidence that they have similar bodies as they both burrow in the ground and the sand. Apparently so. That's your boy Wiglet right there. <laughs> Pokemon ecology is so deep. <laughs> I can't believe this is a Pokemon. <laughs> oh man. Come visit the Paldea region if you have a chance. Who knew that kind of Pokemon existed? You must share this. Hashtag World Pokemon Ecological Society. <laughs> oh man, hey, it's Wolfie. And just a note, there was a few other screenshots that were released as part of this ecological survey, I guess, on the website. That looks like an Applin to me, which is pretty dope. You've obviously got the new Paldea Wooper. You've got some Obama Snow and Snover kind of out in the wild. And then there was another shot of Diglett here, regular Diglets. Uh, so you will see both regular Diglets and Wiglets and Serebii.net also showing uh, Saviper and Zangus throwing down here. I don't have the video for this. Uh, I'm not sure where it is. I'll see if I can find it real quick. But obviously the main thing is Wiglet and the Wiglet reveal. By the way, if you guys didn't hear, I just dropped some brand new t-shirts over at TeamShiny.com. You can pick them up by going to TeamShiny.com and just grab some sweet merch. We dropped Absol, Gardevoir, Flygon, and we've got a ton of other designs. So take a few minutes, scroll through our pages. We've got a ton of awesome shiny shirts, merch, hoodies, and much, much more. Getting ready for hoodie season. Check them out at TeamShiny.com. 
Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about actually is a revolving wiglet here. It's an older post, but I think it's really relevant, but there are some leaks in it, so just an FYI there. Um, so this post was made by Centro uh, a few weeks back, and we had kind of covered on the channel then, but it, it's relevant because it talks about the different types of forms that are going to be in Paldea. So the first thing is the, the convergent species, looking at the right-hand side. Again, we don't know exactly what they're called, but it's very clear from this ecological like survey thing that they did that this new pokemon wiglet is not a diglet right but the naming convention of it is going to be really similar so i think we're going to see that as well apparently there's one other species of pokemon in paldea that has a similar approach and that's the tentacle line and we know that based on the leaks that we've seen so the rumor is that tentacle is going to come onto land and become like a mushroom type tentacle so keep an eye out for that uh, then we've got different forms throughout the region that are going to exist in this game. You've got your regional forms like Wooper, which we just saw. And there's going to be like Tauros regional forms and things like that. You've got your traditional new evolutions, which are Pokemon that are going to have a new evolution. They're going to evolve for the first time in this region. Like Primeape, apparently Giraffarig, Dunsparce, etc. And then you've got your Paradox Pokemon, which again, I'm not sure if we know for sure what the name is. But those are going to be like very important to the story and kind of the you know the different games that you're playing scarlet or violet and there's a bunch of different ones for each game so whether it's you know jigglypuff or amoongus or volcarona or tyranitar donphan hariyama whatever those are what we think to be these paradox forms so very very cool stuff i was very surprised to see this reveal for dig uh wiglet i i want to call him dig because that's what we've been calling it dig for the longest time but it's funny because this was one of the first like I guess leaked ideas going into this leak cycle where someone had posted the cloud diglet coming out of the ground and then the riddler was like hey you know that that's actually a thing right so we've been waiting for wiglet's reveal for a long time now and we finally have confirmation confirmation and again anyone who doubts the riddler at this point i don't know what to tell you but uh it's pretty interesting stuff and a surprising reveal for sure and what do you know riddler ku says say hi to our first r fake wiglet so again not surprising taking some credit here and then i'm gonna not show you guys the second post but basically ripping into people saying that he's a faker or that he's a liar because he talked about our fakes and all this stuff and it turns out again it's real so the last thing i want to talk about is this idea of what their reveal cycle looks like here because we talked about the other day in terms of the potential pokemon picnic leak which obviously never came to fruition that there's still a lot of information that they haven't revealed for this game so what does that look like what does that information look like what are we going to expect from this game I don't know, but I think that there could be some pretty steady news coming out over the next few weeks as we lead up to the launch of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So keep your eyes and ears open for that. And I hope you guys are excited for Wiglet. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Dan. I'll also go by A-Drive, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.